Thanksgiving dinner essentials like turkey, cranberries, and potatoes are more expensive than ever. Wells Fargo actually just put out new numbers taking a look at the cost of the Thanksgiving meal. So let's take a look at some of what that report showed. Flour is up 17% compared to this time one year ago. And then when we look at butter, hey, we need butter for the Thanksgiving meal. That is up 26%. And then taking a look at eggs, egg prices are 33% higher compared to this time last year. Inflation is making food insecurity worse in our community than it already was. Second Harvest says the need at the food bank is up nearly 50%. And at times, they've nearly run out of food. It's why this year for Tom turkey drive the need is greater than ever when you see the socks no, I, honest to god a couple years ago i sat in there for about 10 minutes with white socks on and nobody recognized me <laughs> you know who it is you know, I, I take these home and dry a lot of apples kevin miller knows the process we put about five or six per bag he can tie each one without even looking um, that's you know that's a decent size for a family of four they but make no mistake or, he know. looks at each yep. apple nice. before it goes out the door I, I know how I'd feel if I opened up a bag in there. Mush. He takes pride in his volunteer work at Second Harvest and Tom's Turkey Drive because he's needed help too. Being almost homeless for quite a while and, and then going in one day and here's, you know, you've got a complete turkey dinner to, to go home and make. For more than 22 years, Tom's Turkey Drive has been committed to making sure families in the Inland Northwest have a meal to share. That commitment will always stay the same. But this year, inflation is causing new challenges for our partners at Second Harvest. Food costs are up about 10 percent. Not to mention the price of fuel is driving up costs too. The farmers who grow the food rely on diesel. So all of those things are kind of conspiring to push food prices up. Turkeys might be flightless. <laughs> But the cost of them are soaring. The Department of Agriculture reports prices for an 8 to 16 pound bird are up by 73 percent from last year. But ongoing inflation is only partially to blame. With the H5N1 strain of the bird flu also responsible for the dramatic price surge. Thankfully, Tom's Turkey Drive and Rosars ordered turkeys last January, but inflation is making each of the 11,000 boxes we send out that much more expensive. So 20 bucks yeah, covers the cost of a turkey, but not a lot more. It's why every dollar donated to Tom's Turkey Drive means so much more this year. For Kevin, being known for his fun socks has a deeper meaning. Hopefully they go away with a smile and a little lighter heart. That's all we can do. These are likely the images that remind you of Tom's Turkey Drive. Cars circling through the Spokane County Fairgrounds parking lot, slowly pulling up to volunteers, cars loaded with boxes of food. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for the turkey. But days before the long lines and hours before the cars pull up, Tom's Turkey Drive starts here. One more time, we're gonna celebrate. My name is Joe Gehinga, and I'm a volunteer at uh, Second Harvest. Joe is one of the nearly 200 volunteers that worked the Sunday before Tom's Turkey Drive distribution to actually put the food inside the boxes that will be handed out. It is an assembly line that loads the ingredients for a Thanksgiving dinner and carries a message from a community that cares. I go home and I know I have food, and I have shelter, and I know there are a lot of people out, out there that don't. Eric Williams, Community Partnerships Director, and I work for Second Harvest. I remember just a year ago at the Tuesday event, one of our uh, workers who does the skid steers, he came in and said, I feel like it's Christmas morning. So this is kind of like Christmas Eve. It's a festive day, lots of happiness, lots of joy, lots of volunteers working really hard to help feed 11,000 families. The meals have become so robust, weighing about 40 pounds each. That $20 Tom's Turkey Dry bag that you buy at Rosar's ends up in a large box that goes on a local family's table for Thanksgiving. Each box bigger than the sum of its ingredients, representing a family that shares a meal and makes holiday memories. I've seen people being so thankful, tears in their eyes, because they know they have turkey dinner, otherwise they wouldn't. 
And for volunteers like Joe, it's become as much a tradition as the turkey on his own table. And I'm thankful too. I'm thankful that I'm able to do this. Thankful, it is a word we use a lot this time of year, and it is a feeling that is what Tom's Turkey Drive is all about, whether you are receiving a meal or boxing one to go. Reporting in Spokane, Laura Papetti, Creme 2 News. When we got through a few months ago, we thought, hey, we're almost through this pandemic thing. We all kind of took a big breath and went, gosh, thank, thank goodness things are back to normal. Well, unfortunately, on the food front, they're not. Inflation is affecting us a lot like it does families. So, as you know, food costs have gone up roughly 10% or a little bit more this year. Now, we get a lot of donated food, but we also are having to buy more and more food. And so our costs have gone up oh, roughly 10% on all of that food. Our partners are telling us that the need has gone up and also uh, so that there's an imbalance now between the need and what and the food that we have. A lot of our partners are saying 40-45% increases in the number of clients and a lot of those are new faces who they've never seen, people who have never, never been to a food bank before. Over time, it's pretty much quadrupled the number of our partners who are saying, hey, we need more food.